Hi everybody, today we are going thrifting and I'm sharing a nice large haul at the end. I actually am taking you to a shop called Small Town Bins that is in our small little town that just started about a month ago where you buy different items for a certain price. So everything is 50 cents today. They start off on one day at $6 and the next day is five, and then it's three, then a dollar. And then today happened to be 50 cents that I got to go. So it's been picked over, but it is all returns from Amazon or Target. And so it's a fun way to actually do some Christmas shopping. So that's what I'm doing and you get to see what I got to see. And then at the end, you get to see the 27 items I picked up. Plus I am taking you thrifting at a new thrift store I found about 20 miles away from our small town. So this is also in collaboration with Sarah at Sarah's October Home. She is thrifting and bringing you along and showing her haul. And also just go check her channel out when you're done because she's got such a cute quaint home and is working on some DIY projects in her house. And it's just such a fun way to get inspired by watching other people, I think. So definitely check her channel out when you're done watching mine. And of course, if you're new coming from Sarah's, I'm so glad you are here to join me on this new adventure that I am bringing you along with. And if you like homemaking, motherhood, thrifting, simple living, this is the channel for you. So I'd love to have you join my YouTube community by hitting that subscribe button. So um, come along and enjoy my video today. <laughs>
Hello everybody, I am here to share my massive bins haul. I found 27 items for 50 cents a piece and then my items I found out thrifting and a lot of fun Christmas items, um, which it is so close to Christmas right now, but some items to resell as well. So I'm gonna try to go quickly. Um, because like I said, I found 27 items and I thought it would be fun to take you on the bins and that's something I will hopefully do more of as well because it is right here in our small town population 750. So that is so fun to have such a shop as the bins. So let's start with what I found there. So I did these fragrance free candles, a two pack. I'm going to resell these, their virtual reality headset, probably on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. And if any of you are interested in these, message me or comment below because I'd be happy to resell them. Then I found these Moscow mini mugs. We have a, a Breville espresso machine and these are perfect size for little espresso shots. They were from Target, I think, originally because they're $5, but 50 cents for a pack of four. And then just some Essie nail polish. This, it's a gray color. I thought that was really pretty. And then 100% extra virgin coconut oil. Those are always nice to have because I use coconut oil for everything. This Singer little travel sewing kit. That is always something nice to have on hand or to take along with you if you lose a button. This Singer um, hot glue gun, and this I may potentially sell, and this too, because I already have one of both. I found this pair of sunglasses, the Panama Jack brand. There, it says $19.99 on it originally. I like the wood sides as well, so it looks like a good quality set of sunglasses. And these are probably more for a teacher, but I thought it might be fun to give to my sister-in-law who homeschools, just little um, schooly hanging things. Like I think this one says welcome behind the apples and this one has like a clock and a pencil and stuff like that. I bought two of these Shake and Make um, Alex Craft bracelets, I think. So Christmas gifts, it's for age six plus. This Fancy Nancy coloring and sticker book, Christmas gift. I found three different Burt's Bees lip balm, and Burt's Bees is a really nice um, brand and a good quality. And then, well, this one is a lip shimmer in caramel, and then these two are the Sweet Mandarin. And then I got myself a new eyelash curler because mine is from high school, so I need to throw that. And I'm going to try selling some mascara i've never sold makeup before but we'll see if it works if not i can give it away then this is gonna be a gay gift or white elephant gift waxing strips who knows then this mug it says "Ooh, this calls for a spreadsheet and then it's all closed the rest of this stuff so these brand new um, speedo swim shoes i will probably resell these kids size five six this will be for my daughter. The pants were missing, the lady said, so I'm not exactly sure what size this is because um, it says 130. I think that's a European size, but really cute, like the leopard print on it. Then my daughter is a size four, so these are perfect. They're more um, fleece lined, Cat and Jack brand. I mean, who can't pass out 50 cents for that? And I found this fun little long pajama shirt. Um, flannel pajama shirt for myself the brand wonder shop from target now this wrap dress is an extra large and that is not my size but i thought it might work um it says mother b i think that's the brand but i've potentially seen them work to fit well if they're wrap dress and it's really nursing friendly so we'll try it if not i'll try selling it then I found these jeans. I think they're a little bit shorter. They have like the um, frayed on the end. And they are the Hue Studio brand. It says originally $28. So I thought that was a pretty good steal. And then I can try selling those. 
I was thinking ahead. I bought some high-rise Bermuda shorts, um, kind of that hippie look with the frayed on the end, the universal thread, so I think that's Target. And then I found a shirt for my husband. I thought he would um, get a kick out of this color as well. And this is the All In Motion brand. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Maybe it's Target as well. Okay, and then to the thrift store. You saw me look at those tins. I picked up a couple to put Christmas goodies in. This vintage looking tin is really adorable. And then this one as well. So for a dollar, that'll be a nice way to give Christmas goodies here this week. And then I found a bunch of Christmas sweaters because I've been selling Christmas sweaters really well on Facebook Marketplace. This one is blue, um, just a zip up. And it is the Design Original Studio Joy. And I found a kid's one. These sweaters were all a dollar. Um, this is the Sonoma brand. Cute little red Christmas sweater. Then this is a women's extra large Christmas sweater. Brand is LOL Vintage. It's all it's acrylic, so it's a little bit different texture. Then this vest is a 3X. So it's nice and large, but it's kind of fun. Um, and it's got the red or the green and white stripes on the back. Then these pajamas I thought would be fun for my daughter next year because they're 5T Carter brand. Those were a dollar. These will be good for my youngest daughter, um, who is six months right now. They're 18 months. She, they usually run, my daughters run a little bit large on size. So this was a brand new one. And then just this vintage looking bell that is false graph. It says Merry Christmas on it for 50 cents. It has no bell on the inside, but I couldn't pass up a false graph um, little bell to decorate with. So that is my really large bins and thrift haul. I usually love thrifting a lot more than buying brand new, but it's fun to have this, like I said, in our town. Don't forget to check out Sarah's channel. She is doing some thrifting and decorating as well with her thrifted items. And if you're new from her channel, I'm so glad you're here. Love you guys and talk with you in the next one.